Hey, it's Ellie Mae, and today I wanted to share two ways that you can do a test cut with the Caesar cutting machines and also through Leonardo Design Studio software. So whether you are using the cut settings from the actual Caesar cutting machine that are in this um, brain, or you are using the cut settings from your software, you can now send a test cut from either way. They do function a little bit different. So let's take a look at how that works. So the first way to do a test cut is using the screen on the Caesar cutting machine. And you have test cut built in here so that you can simply do a quick test cut. This is used if you are using these cut settings that are here in the um, screen and you're using those settings. So if I come over here, I'm using cardstock. I'm gonna increase this up to 40. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to center my housing or position my housing where I want it to cut. So I have my cutting mat loaded. I need to position this, move the arrows to where I want it to start cutting. And so if I put it down there in the bottom left corner and then I press the test cut, it's going to cut out a little test. And then it returns to the point of origin where it started. So I want to make sure that you see that it returns back to where I had it originally set to start. That's going to show a difference here in just a second. So that's one way to do a test cut. And we can see here it cut my little test cut. Now I'm going to jump over into the Leonardo Design Studio software and I'm going to show you how you can send a test cut from Leonardo itself. So first I'm going to position this blade. Okay, so on the send tab in Leonardo Design Studio, I have this design that I would be sending to cut on the right hand side if your software is updated. Um, this was in a recent update as of the recording of this video. There is a new feature called force test. And in the process, I had asked if they could develop some sort of test cut directly from Leonardo Design Studio and they implemented it, which is great. I love that they're listening and that they're putting things in here. So in general, I would type out a capital B and I would send that as my test cut. When they saw that, they said that they could put it in the software for me. So here is this force test. Now the force test from the Leonardo Design Studio software means that it is using these cut settings here on the send tab. So you are using your settings that you are setting from the Leonardo Design Studio software. It is not using the cutter settings. I have this unchecked. So your force test, if I click this, I'm gonna switch back over to the machine. Once I click it, it's gonna tell me, it's gonna confirm that my machine is ready. So that means, is your mat loaded? Is your blade in the proper location that you want it to cut? That is your pop-up to remind you to look at your machine. Then I'm going to verify those settings. I'm gonna click yes, and then I'm going to jump over to the other camera. Then it's going to do a force test. And you can notice that the housing moved up. The reason that the housing moved and advanced on the material is on purpose. I did verify that. It is so that you can be able to see this test cut without having to advance the material out of the machine. So it did cut, it cuts a different shape. So it cuts a, we'll bring this out. It cuts a, let's bring it out all the way. So it cuts, get this in here and see if we can see it. So here is the test cut from the Caesar cutting machine. And here is the force test cut from within the Leonardo Design Studio. So then you can pop those out, make sure that it cut, and you can check those lines. You don't want those lines to be something you can feel. That means your settings are too high, but you want those lines. If you see a small indent, that's uh, okay. I cannot feel this on my um, cutting mat. So it gives you another option for that test cut, and that is using the force test in the Leonardo Design Studio software to use those settings from the software to test cut to your machine. Hopefully those tips 
help you to be successful and get those test cuts done so you can be cutting away and save on your materials and your frustration and your time in the long run by doing those test cuts. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.